Hi, for this video, what I want to do is go through finding probabilities using the fundamental counting principle. Um, so what we have is an access code consists of five digits. Those digits can be any number from zero to nine. And we're going to find the probability of someone guessing your access code on the first try if we have the following conditions. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is go through and figure out how many different ways we could end up with um, or how many different access codes are possible for each situation. Okay, a lot of times what I will do is I will go and look at how many digits we have. So in this case, we have five digits. So I would just draw five blanks just to kind of help me visualize that I'm going to have a number that's going to go in there. I can pick any number from zero through nine for each of these. So for the first one, it tells us that each digit can be used only once and it cannot repeat. So that means that once I've used that number, I can't use it again. So if I use nine on the first one, I can't use it again anywhere else. Okay, so when we start out, we start out with 10 values that can go here. There's no restrictions on this first number. So any one of my numbers, zero through nine, there are a total of 10 of them um, that can go in this first spot. We've used one of those numbers. So now we only have nine followed by eight, seven, and six. You could also use a permutation with this where you do 10 things taken five at a time um, and it will give you the same answer. Um, I just find it easier to do it this way. So if I take 10 times nine times eight times seven times six and plug it into my calculator, that tells me that there are 30,240 different ways of arranging the digits. So that's how many possible combinations that we have. So the probability of guessing on our first try There's only one of these that will match our access code, so that would be one out of 30,240. So you can leave it as a fraction like this. Most of the times we change it into either a decimal or a percent. Um, when you plug this into your calculator, most calculators use um, E for scientific notation, so it's very, very plausible that when you plug this in, you're going to get 3.307 E negative 5. This is scientific notation, and it's really important to understand this notation um, because in probabilities, if things are really small or not very likely to happen, your calculator is going to put it this way. And like I said, the E just represents scientific notation. So that means that what we want to do is we want to take this decimal point that is between the threes, and we want to move it over to the left five places. So I'm going to take it from here and move it over one, two, three, four, five places. And then I would just fill those in okay, with zero. So I really have a point zero 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 three three zero seven. Um, if you want to convert this to a percent, you would say that this is 0.0033%, which means it's not very likely to happen for somebody to guess your access code when there are five digits and you cannot repeat them. Okay, so moving on to the next one. For the next one, it says each digit can be repeated. That means that for these five blanks this time, I would just put a 10 in each of these. So if you didn't want to write out the 10 five times, then you would have 10 to the fifth power or 100,000. Okay, and again, the probability of guessing on the first try. Sorry, I just noticed I've misspelled something. I get in a hurry. So guessing on your first try would be one over 100,000. And again, you can leave it like this. Um, for this one, you're going to get point, you could possibly get um, 1 e negative 5. My calculator on this one actually gave me the answer as 0 0.0001. So it just depends on the calculator. Um, if it gave you e negative 5, you would just do the same thing. So for this, you could also say that this is 0.001%. Remember to convert from decimal to a percent, all you have to do is multiply by 100. Okay, so that's the probability of guessing your X as code if you can repeat the value. So being able to repeat does give you significantly more possible outcomes. All right, and on the last one, I wanted to do one where I restricted. So if you want to, go ahead and pause the video, try it on your own, and then Resume watching to see if you could come up with the answer by yourself. OK, 
Okay. So with this, again, what I would do is just draw my five blanks. Okay. Well, this time we're restricting, we're taking away two numbers from our choices for the first one. So there are only eight numbers that I can choose from for this first one. Okay. So I've used one number here. So my next number can be any of the remaining nine numbers that have not been used. Because again, we cannot repeat this one. And then we would just continue going down. There would be eight numbers left for this one, seven and six. So this is gonna give us our small, a smaller number than the first time. So for this one, it ends up being 24,192. So our probability of guessing on the first try is going to be 1 over 24,192. And this one, when I plugged it into my calculator, I got the E notation, the scientific notation again. Um, for this one, I ended up with 4.13 E negative 5. And again, if you move it over five places, you would end up with 0.12340s, 413, or you could say 0 0.00413%. Okay, so either of those are valid answers and ways of writing it. Um, you can see that for all of these, it's very unlikely to happen for somebody to guess your code. Uh, the more numbers you have and the more possibilities you have, the less likely it is for somebody to be able to guess your password or your access code. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.